Abby Suso is an incredible young woman and deserves a goddamn superhero. You get to be more you than you have been in. Happy Pride! Yet again, it is Pride Month, but it's Pride all year round. But uh, right now it's Pride Month, so this movie never fails to get me really emotional and ultimately ends up, you know, succeeding and making me cry. I wonder if that's going to happen today. I'm not in the most emotional mood, but probably by the end of this movie I will be. We'll see. I... this movie. I have so many good memories about this movie, like when I saw it in the cinema it was the best cinema experience I could have asked for, it was just so wholesome. But yeah, uh, I love this movie, I would fight for this movie, I would sell organs for this movie. I've also recently discovered that like, Love, Simon has kind of become my hangover cure movie. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm a tad hungover. I don't really feel bad, but I last time I was hungover I watched Love, Simon like twice in one day and then the day after, so... It's become my hangover cure. In regards to Love, Victor, yes, I'm reacting to season two. It's just gonna be, it's not gonna be episode by episode reactions though. It's just gonna be one big video, like probably an hour long of all my reactions to the whole show. We're gonna do a binge reaction. Don't worry, that's coming. You have to keep asking about it. I know, it's coming, I promise. When, I can't tell you. Hopefully by the end of this month because pride. But yeah, um, we're gonna watch Love, Simon. I love this film so much, it owns my ass. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, it means the world to me. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's fine. I was gonna force you to like it because we still have our free will for now. And if you wanna see more of me, I'm not gonna pay for your therapy, but you can pay for mine. Instagram is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the first D. Twitter is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the second D. And Letterbox is also down there if you wanna know what I think of movies before I release reactions or commentaries on them. She's a pro. Seasoned professional American Idol who? Golden buzzer who? <laughs> Oh, I love this movie so much, Nick Robinson, yes! Except I have one huge ass secret. I'm into feet. I like your, your boots. Oh, see, I told you it was a feet thing. He looked at those calves and he was like, mm-hmm. Maybe it's something that you're not seeing clearly. Like something that's like right in front of your face. What am I not seeing? <laughs> Simon's like, I, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> Who knows? Remember when the 1975 like owned everyone's ass? Can't relate, but that was a time. Yay, 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 yay. Whatever, fag. <laughs> Dicks. Wish Ethan wouldn't make it so easy for them. Victim blaming, not a fan. Simon, love you. I know it's coming from a place of like her. However, let's not blame Ethan. Ethan's just living his life as he should be allowed to. Now me, 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 me. Took your phone. Girlie acted her heart out. She was like, I may be an extra, but I'm gonna get that screen time. Oh. Legend, legend. Hey, Martin. Hey, Spear. Oh my God, it's public enemy number one. Yeah. We can all collectively agree he's one of the most annoying people in cinematic history. No, what? Oh my god. You know, I'm never getting back in that pool again. Wait, no, about the closeted gay kid at school. Honey, the way they thought there was only one closeted gay kid. There were so many more than just one. Simon was proof of that. But, like, holy shit, they were so just, like, dumb pooters in their heads. Ow, my god, what's that on my head? No, they didn't peak in high school. I have a sister I actually like. Not that I'd ever tell her that. I like how we heard this at the very beginning and he tells Blue the exact same thing. Like, it was just a reprise, basically. Like, it's cute how you're like, oh, this is what he was telling Blue all along. Simon. Simon. He He's right in front of you. It's like what Abby said. Maybe you're not seeing what's right in front of you. I knew as soon as Keenan looked at Simon like that, I knew it was him. Why is there no cell reception at this school? I swear to God. Oh, lucky! Watched him leave. It's just those 
Simon's little things. He paid more attention to Simon than anyone else. Cal, help me. That was... That was a start? That was it's my boy, Alex. I don't care what they call him. Cal, he is Alex. All I know him as is Alex. My little boy, Alex, from 13 Reasons Why. Oh, he's my boy. I don't text and drive. That's how my cat got murdered. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have cats. I got asthma. This man was so unhinged. I don't know what was wrong with him. Why would you lie about that? To a student as well. Like, what was going on? When did you know? Have you told anyone? Blue. When I first watched this, though, I thought them panning up to this muscular guy was them, like, kind of revealing who it was, but, like, not. So I thought seeing that muscular arm was like, oh, that's a hint as to who this is. But no, it's just the man um, Simon had conjured in his head. I was obsessed with Panic at the Disco. I, so I mean, aren't we so all? <gasps> that's such an iconic performance, too. <laughs> Mona Lisa. I think I'm falling in love with you. Wow, thank you. Be right back. Wasn't my proudest moment. Come pick me up, mom. Kids are drinking alcohol. <laughs> I love that bit so much. Oh, that was such a wholesome, pure moment. Like, I know that's not why he was texting his mom, really. You know, he was just uncomfortable, but it was so cute. Like, obviously, some of the things I've told you about myself are things I've never talked about with anyone. Oh, I would not have been mad if it was my boy Alex, because he's adorable. Halloween's all about the Oreos with the orange frosting in the middle. Oh my god, they gave us the freaking hint when Bram had the Oreos. But then they slapped us in the face and we saw him like making out with that girl later in the movie and they were like, haha, no, you don't get to have him yet. Thank you. But I still kind of knew it was our guy. Let's see what you can. Why did this annoying fart Martin have to choose the one computer that Simon was sat at? Why could he have not sat anywhere else? And mind your own business, Martin. Just right. To each his own. Oreos. <laughs> Man, I love this. He does. Halloween ones are the best. Cause he's yeah. blue. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Simon starts to speak. <laughs> oh. Freak him out, yeah, I know he's like nine years old. Oh, look at him! Oh, Simon's still looking at Bram. Oh, he's catching feelings. Very relieved that we're in agreement on. I also remember when me and my friends were watching this, we all went, <gasps> we were like, it's him, it's Bram. When they like did that pan up to his face, and it's like a reveal. But then you later realize he does that with every guy he imagines is blue. I'm gonna go get a soda. Um, do you want anything? No. Back off, Martin. Public enemy number one, I will not hesitate to silence you. Like, go away, turn around. You did not have to do this. You could have been a decent human, but no. Well, I went to Gmail and it pulled up your account and I uh, read some of your emails. I like, the fact that Martin read some of them, he didn't even just read the one, he read some of them. Trash. No one likes you, Martin, for a reason. You have no redeemable qualities. Okay, don't worry, I won't show anyone. Show anyone what? I just want, he's got such a slappable face. Let me punch you. Screenshot it by email. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, Simon was ready to draw some blood. He was ready for violence. Why the hell did you screenshot my emails? Ah, uh, well, you and Abby Suso are good friends, right? He's so trashy. One, he reads Simon's emails. And then two, he wants to be with a girl who's shown no interest in him, ever. Anytime he's near her, she seems uncomfortable and she is uncomfortable. Tell me. What part of me do you find the hottest? Oh my god, there's Not no part. Yours. No, come on. No. Hey, Martin, look, 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 I don't want to answer if, that. if you said my shoulders, I would dress to accentuate. Oh my god, I... I just... I don't want to see him on my screen. I, I give up. I'm backing away. We're just going to sit back here and pretend Martin is not on my screen. He just... Why? 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 Who's that? I invited Martin. Martin Addison? Oh, why? Is this a make-a-wish situation? She came for blood with that line! She chose violence, but also girly wasn't exactly wrong. I love Abby, but what were those body wiggles? She's cute, but yeah. she's just not really my type. Mm. Not because she's black. Not because she's black. 
I love black women. He was Not sweating. Like, you know, I for black women. Relax. I just, I just, I just hey, Simon. Hey. Hey, you want to play uh, Beirut? Yeah. Yeah, sure. see, they were like naturally just drawn to each other. It was so pure. Maybe you should take these. Oh. <gasps> see better. The vibes were yeah, impeccable. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh my god, they're so cute, them two. They are in my soul. Hey, Brand I honestly Jacques. love Nick Robinson's drunk acting here. It's Brand such a like mood. Jacques. It's like that point in the night where you're just hooking to yourself in the mirror or you're doing the whole in the mirror because you're like, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm sober. It's, it's a great time to be alive, but then the next day is not so much. No! My heart was shattered, but I still knew somewhere that Bram was the one. Sorry, Look, we're so close. Oh my god. Wait, what? Dude, my parents are still up. Oh god. Okay, oh. you know what? Come on. Uh, wow. just, I need you to That's been... Simon is such a mood. That's been me. Every time I go out, that's me. Simon is me. I'm, I'm gonna say Nick Robinson's drunk acting is like 10 out of 10. I've seen some pretty rubbish like drunk acting, but Nick Robinson's is it, in my own professional opinion. How was the party? It was really fun. Was it? Yeah. Aces. Aces? Huh. That was so huh. casual. <laughs> Aces. Well, thanks for letting me stay He out. was so oh, gone. Yeah. I think I'm the kind of person who is destined to care so much about one person that nearly kills me. Me too. Ooh, the way Lee is staring at Simon is dangerous. Girly is catching feels. And then, when I go to college in Los Angeles, I'll be gay and proud, I promise. This is so freaking iconic. Oh, that rainbow bit was like Trin's wool. <laughs> oh my god. Simon's mind, the way it works. Let me, let me in. I'll keep ruminating. Love, Jacques. Oh, this is when he first says love. And he's like, oh shit. Why did I do that? He's like, drunk me. I blame it on the alcohol. Ow. Ow. Oh man. Oh. You okay? Oh yeah, that's a paper cut. Simon is way too nice to Martin being like, are you okay? I'd have just let the man bleed. Bleed out over there, please. Okay, if he found out that my emails got leaked, he'd get totally freaked. Or he'd never talk to me again. Yeah, probably not, you know? Internet's a freaky place to meet people. Martin was so just messed up, though. Like, he didn't even give two shits if Blue never talked to Simon again. He had no care in the world for Simon's feelings and or relationships. Hey, madam. Oh. Yeah, you block Martin. I know this boy's hand is just so clammy and definitely has hot breath. Can we get back to this? You're, you're from DC, right? Yeah, can you give me my next cue though? So why, why did you move here? Oh, this bit's so cringy. It makes me want to dig a hole and never wake up again. What? I want to hear you say, I have oh, so. Anyway, this bit's so cringy. More. And deserve. He's like, I want to hear you say it. Um, Pardon the interruption. Martin. I would just like to say that Abby Suso is an incredible young woman, woman and deserves a goddamn oh, superhero. Oh, oh. Oh. And the way they play uplifting music over this bit, release me, release me. I, it's so cringy. Please sit down. Oh, the uplifting. Oh. This knocks like years of my life. That scene knocks years of my life. I think you're crazy brave. The disrespect. Blue sent Simon a whole freaking paragraph. And what does Simon respond with? A sentence. Just one. He was playing hard to get. Abby? Yeah. gay oh. abby's response is so like perfect she doesn't make it a big deal she doesn't say oh i knew she just accepts what simon's saying and listens to him well i love you 
Oh, that's so awesome. It's like what Simon needed to hear her say. That nothing's changed, she still loves him. No matter who he is. This movie's gonna be the end of me. Oh, some more Panic at the Disco references. It's, uh, insanely awkward, but I went to the death of a bachelor tour. Wow, the way the world works. That's crazy, actually. Whoa. I'm just gonna tell her that I like her. And I've been thinking what? the whole sexual experience thing, it's not that big of a deal. And he is right. It is really not a big deal. Anyone who's younger watching this video, don't psych yourself out. Stay safe. But it's not that big a deal. I promise you. It's be safe. It's not a big deal. You'll be fine. Leah's in love with you. No, she's not. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. The way she looks. Oh, Simon, I love him. But this was such a messy scenario situation. All that stuff that you were talking about the night after Bram's party about, you know, being so into one person that it almost kills you. You were talking about Nick. No, you dumb pooter. Leo was talking about you. I just remembered that Victor now has Simon's jacket, doesn't he? Does he? I swear Simon gave Victor his jacket at like near the end of season one. Am I wrong? Maybe, but he's Victor's wearing it in all like those love Victor promos. And I know that you're this smart talented perfect creature <laughs> creature please don't refer to a woman as creature just that was red flag number seven martin i am so sorry i don't feel that way about you i love rejection no. when it's in regards to martin we love to see it reality check this is donald j trump martin addison can't come to the phone right now when you don't think his character could get worse and Martin has a Donald Trump impression as his voicemail. Speaks volumes about Martin, doesn't it? Shock. I'm drinking eggnog and packing to go to my dad's cabin on Lake Raven. I'm pretty sure there's a photo of it on the Wikipedia page for middle of nowhere. This is when Simon thinks of Cal and he's like, vacation house he, it's him. Oh, shit. He, <laughs> but it's not. Right away. Ladies need not apply. We should. What's wrong with this boy? I have never hated a character more. I have never wanted to see a character fail more. I mean, at least all three of his friends were there to check in, they all were texting him. Like, I'm glad they were there for him. Because in a previous commentary I did in this movie, I said, you know, he deserves better friends. And sure, they don't have the best moment soon, but I'll give it to them. They were there for Simon in this moment when he definitely needed them. I'm gay. And I don't want you guys to think anything different. I'm still me. Um, of course you are. Yeah. <sighs> so you're gay. Which one of your old girlfriends? Shut the hell up! It's not I'm funny. Kidding. Hey, Nora, it's... Oh, just open up your. I told you this movie never fails to make me cry. Oh, this is when all of his friends like have a go at Simon. I understand where the friends are coming from. However, I wish they chose a different time to bring it up. I get it; he's had the Christmas break, but he's been going through so much. I would have put it into context. Like, if my friend did all this and then I knew someone was blackmailing them with their secret, a, a secret as big as them being gay that they weren't ready to tell anyone, then I I would have been way more understanding about it. I know that's like a personal thing, it's just me, it's just how I would be with my friends, but I wouldn't have like I don't know, disappeared from their lives for a while just because of this scenario. Like sure, it was semi-shitty on Simon's part, however he was being blackmailed. Uh, he screenshotted my emails, and he's been using them to blackmail me for months. What does that have to do with us, Simon? I don't understand when Nick says that. Like, what does that have to do with us? Simon just told you their two brain cells were not connecting. If my friend told me the whole reason he messed or she messed with my 
love life was because they were being blackmailed by someone who was threatening to reveal to the world they were gay i'd have been like oh that makes a lot of sense why you acted out of character and now i understand why you did what you did blackmail is how it works i don't understand why they couldn't see that and that's what frustrates me with with his friends in this portion of the movie like yes we are acknowledging that what simon did due to his blackmail wasn't the nicest but if he wasn't being blackmailed he wouldn't have done that like can they not see i don't know i don't know i i feel like the majority of people would agree with that outlook on his friends and how they react to the whole idea that martin was blackmailing him i'd have been like oh i'm so sorry that happened i i had no idea are you okay like how are you hey come on lee i'll take you to school do they not care that he was they just completely glossed over the fact that martin blackmailed him you, you know what? You're insanely stupid, Simon. I was never in love with Nick. She called him I a dumb pooter. He was a dumb pooter for not seeing that, though. Like, it was really obvious. Is that all these years, you being so picky with girls, I thought that maybe it was because you might like me, too. And then Bruh, it just doesn't really sit right with me that all of his friends ultimately made Simon's coming out about them. Like, not one of them just then asked Simon how he was doing after everything that happened. It doesn't sit right with me. I'm sorry. It doesn't. They could have handled that situation so be so much better. And they could have been so much more understanding about Simon being blackmailed. But yet they just chose to ignore him on that. Hey. <laughs> this moment also makes me mad. Where were his friends? where were they to say hey that's not cool back off like shut up sit down no one thinks this is cool you have you want to say where to were they get off your ass back simon i'm not gonna lie it's shitty that his friends just sat and did nothing again the audacity his friends had not to even go up to simon after that maybe ask if he's okay how how are you doing forever a mystery to me the way they act in this movie i don't take it back he does deserve better friends <laughs> okay these gentlemen have something that they would like to say to you we're sorry not bad that's right hmm that was filled with so much passion i really felt that apology they really meant it it was like a youtuber e apology video you don't get to decide that i'm supposed to be the one that decides when and where and how and who knows and how i get to say it that's supposed to be my oh. thing and you took that away from me. He did. So look, can you please just get the fuck away from me? Yes. Should have punched him. You can't leave me alone. Everything's falling apart. Oh, this is when the emo doesn't send. Oh. I feel so bad for Simon. He deserved so much better. He went through so much pain in this movie. I know you've had a crazy couple days. You want to talk about it? See, Cal here I, I shouldn't ask. offered more help and solace, I guess, than Simon's friends. He asked him if he's okay, does he need to talk? That's exactly what Simon needed. Where was that from his friends? Where are they? Oh, this is the scene where Simon's mum says, you can breathe now, Simon, you get to breathe. There are parts of it you have to go through alone. I hate that this speech will be the death of me you said mom i'm still me he did <laughs> you are still you <laughs> you are still the same son who <laughs> i love to come on kick me in the throat with that line about breathing but you get to exhale now son <laughs> you get to be more you than you have been in Oh, she should win an award for the perfect speech. Oh, she delivers that speech so well. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Let's dry those tears. Oh my god, that speech alone should have just won an award. This movie should have won all the awards. Oh no, another emotional moment. Will Rebecca handle this? Probably not. Will she cry? Probably yes. Hey, <sighs> yeah. I just want you to know that I love you. Oh, I'm so and glad he said that. Good. Look at smile, Simon, smile. 
I didn't cry. Good for me. I hurt the best, most important people, and I want them to know <laughs> that I'm sorry. I am done being scared. Oh, that you've been pretending for so This jacket was a look. He should have worn it more often. Love. Love, Simon. Simon. Oh, finally. And the Oreos. Because Bram was the only one we saw eat Oreos. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. It's Bram. I swear this whole sequence is the most iconic thing to come out of cinematic history. When they go through cinema archives, I hope they stumble upon this clip. Wait! Wait! When everyone Simon. in the cinema saw Please. this, we were all ready to throw hands. I remember Absolutely. hearing that gasp and even some people you. were like, no! No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I love how dumb with him Simon is. He's like, shut up. It's not you. I know it's not you. But it's just the fact that in the cinema, I just remember the audience being like, no. Everyone was just like holding their chairs. We were like, this can't be how it ends. Okay, don't worry. Wait, wait. <laughs> can I sit there? I was kind of waiting. For of course he can sit there. Yeah. It's you. It's you. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Look at those two, they live rent free in my mind. Oh, I love them so much. And then <gasps> we love to see it. Oh, the hand on his neck. <laughs> and they go back, don't be shy, go on. Oh, oh, I love this movie so much. Five drinks, don't think I missed that. Love to see Bram. Morning. <laughs> They're so cute. Brilliant. And they all drive off into the sunset. Shut up, people saying there's not a sunset. I don't care. They're driving off into a sunset in my mind. That's the end of Love Simon. Forever leaves rent free in my mind. I love that movie so much. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? And why are you this far into the video? Go watch the movie. Pretend you didn't see this. But yeah, oh my god, that is such a movie that lives in my heart forever and ever. I will be watching this until the day I die. It's such a comfort, wholesome, pure, lovely movie. Perfect for this month. I cannot praise it enough. It gets you in the feels. It's also a feel-good movie. And you just can't help but root for Simon and Bram the entire way. Well, Simon, because not everyone knows it's Bram, but still. That movie also, as I've said before, has a special place in my heart because the cinema experience was just next level for that movie. You really had to be there to know, but I loved it. I also didn't mention that I once had a commentary on this movie up a, a year ago or something when I first started my channel. I recently took it down because I wanted to refilm it because I didn't really like the way that one turned out. But yeah, that is me redoing my commentary on Love, Simon because I love the movie this much. Watch me take this video down like a year from now and I'll be doing another Love, Simon commentary. Probably, knowing me, but it probably will happen like that. Love, Victor, season two. Reactions will be on the way, I promise. You don't need to keep commenting, I promise they're on the way. They'll, they'll be there one day. But yeah, that's enough of me talking. I'm tired of hitting the sound of my voice, and I'm sure you're tired of hitting the sound of my voice, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, have a nice rest of your day, and adios.